Welcome back to the Estonian tale of the bearded crab. They're setting them up to be serious contenders this year. Yes, indeed, Harry. It looks like they're right on track to beat the current front runners, the Czechs, with their rendition of The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. Although in their adaption, instead of turning into a monstrous insect, the protagonist became a new wave feminist. So same thing, really. And let's go back to the bearded crab. I can make the potion. We can do this. And I think you should get a haircut. But what do I know? I'm only a functioning member of society. <laughs> Listen here, young Eric. Children nowadays are told ridiculous things, like that they are special or unique. And in the vast majority of cases, this is simply not true. You are one of these cases, Eric. That's why you can't go around curing plagues. And, and besides, I doubt our friends will consent to this. Friends? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> if I cure the blacksmith upstairs and, and we cleanse the village, will you let us leave? I am content with this. Do as you must, Pagan. I will be in the basement praying. I don't care anymore. Father was right. Oh. What? How did you do that? Are these chairs cursed? They're not evil. They're just... lonely. What? You haven't hit puberty yet? And you think you're some sort of chair whisperer? Oh, these chairs are a menace. The amount of paying customers that have gotten tetanus because of them. For goodness sake. I bought the furniture for this tavern from a witch who was having a garage sale. It was so damn cheap. She tried telling me something about a curse, but I said, Lady, for that price, shut up and take my shekels. Eric, you can speak to furniture. Why don't you use this great power? I know. So it was my father. Whenever I did it at home, he would always say, Eric, stop talking to chairs, you cock juggling sons of <laughs> And from that, I just feel like he didn't like it. Eric, you have father issues? You have emotional conflict that drives you as a character? Maybe I was wrong about you. Can I get that in writing? That's one ingredient down. Eric? You can't go around forcing people to donate parts of themselves. Oh. Glock, Glock? Well, I do pride myself on my nails, but I could be convinced if you do something for me. Of course, anything, anything. Oh. And then I'm gonna blow no. them all and stink them up your nose. No. What? Those are my terms. I know what I want. Gunter, can you give me a coin? Nope. Please, I'll convince the chairs to stop maiming your guests. That these chairs will never learn. I should just burn them. Ugh. Stop! <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.
Eric, you've learned to use your powers for good, and by good I mean robbing a dwarf. I'm developing. <laughs> All we need now are the orc nails. Eric, it's not worth it. You don't want to get on that ship that badly, do you? It's done. I like how we haven't bothered to move this guy or anything. He really brings the room together. Wait. Oh my, what a twist. I bet you didn't see that coming. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 